Hello my dear friends, dear subscribers and resident doctors. This time I am with you with, with a very important topic that is how to handle seropositive cases that are admitted in your ward. We know as a healthcare worker we are always exposed to the seropositive cases and these can endanger our life because we have to treat the patient but with a little precaution we can take care of it and we can get uh, ourselves protected from these uh, uh, zero positive cases. Now I will tell you, you have to always careful that you can acquire HIV, HBSAG, SCV. These three, these three are the three dated disease that a healthcare worker are exposed of. But we, as we have to take care of the patient without any uh, differentiation and discrimination, we have should take some precaution to prevent us from uh, getting this disease. For HBSAG, you all know that vaccine is available. So all healthcare workers must be vaccinated with uh, H hepatitis B vaccine so that at least they, they get protected from this particular disease. For rest disease, HIV and HCV, there is no vaccine and the treatment is given after the person who is exposed uh, or the person who, has, who had acquired the disease. But SBSAG vaccination is very very important. So once you are treating the patient in the ward who is admitted under you, under you, make it a dictum for every patient who is admitted under you, get these three tests done irrespective of what the case it is, whether it is operative, non-operative or whatever case it is. If the patient is admitted under you and you are seeing the patient, these three tests should be done for all the patients who are admitted under you. At least you, should, you will be able to know that the status of seropositive uh, if such patient is there then you will have to take some extra precaution to deal with this patient now uh, the if somebody some patient is is seropositive first thing you do on the patient bedside um, stick one slip and write on this slip universal precaution because this is what only healthcare worker can understand and the, the other patients who are admitted along with the seropositive patient won't have any idea and we should not uh, even uh, should not uh, um, tell uh, other patients about the seropositive because this is one of the very confidential thing so confidentiality have to be maintained now uh, 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 we can acquire this uh, disease from the affected patient one of the very common uh, source is needle stick injury then uh, you know uh, for the HIV patients and all if the, all the fluids whether it's a semen or the urine or the saliva or blood uh, if you get in contact with all these things, you can acquire this uh, disease. So whenever you are handling this patient, always use a double gloves when you are treating this patient in the ward. Then only you can you you should uh, handle this patient. And uh, while handling a Foley's catheter, while doing suction, and uh, you have to be very extra careful because you might uh, get exposure to it. Sometimes what happens? There is splash of fluid uh, of affected patient, and it enters uh, or your eye. So you have to be very careful. Uh, some distance from the patient has to be maintained. Uh, if those who are uh, wearing glasses, they have got some protection. For for the uh, for other persons, they should be extra uh, careful, or they can use a zero, zero power glass while they are handling such patient in the ward. So it become very important. And one of the uh, another important thing is whenever you are using uh, any syringe or needle to the patient uh, and you have used it after using the needle never try to recap it like this because it might slip and it might hit you and never try to break the needle uh, in the uh, needle breaker instrument uh, ideally these uh, in needles should be kept in a uh, in, in a uh, leak proof containers which should be available in the ward and finally it has to be very carefully uh, disposed of so this is very important that uh, the uh, while you are uh, handling the uh, needle the, you should always take care that needle stick injury should not be there uh, and you can take care of it so uh, wear proper gloves and take care your eyes should be well protected and uh, uh, 
by taking care of all these things when you are handling any fluid what you have taken from the body of the patient you have to be very careful uh, while uh, um, transporting the, 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 the fluid or handling the fluid by this way you can uh, take care of the patient in the ward now I will tell you and I will show you what the uh, how you can manage this patient in the operation theater in operation theater you have to uh, take use of a universal precaution kit which I, which I will show you and tell uh, by use of this universal precaution uh, kit you will be able to protect yourself from this data disease just have a look uh, friends this is a universal uh, precaution kit this is very economical kit uh, that uh, your patient can easily uh, afford and this is WHO approved now this uh, AIDS or HIV kit is used while we are operating our patient now this is available in this packing now this uh, this shows what are the various content of it so i just read it out it has got one uh, uh, face mask one disposable gown disposable head cap disposable bed sheet disposable examination gloves disposable non woven shoe cover goggles and waist carry black bag that finally everything has to be put this in this bag and this has to be disposed of now i will just uh, clear it the universal precaution kit and show you what uh, uh, what are the various content of it okay now just i will cut it okay fine so now uh, these are the you know these are the shoe cover that is there in the use of precaution kit now this is a, a mask that is available in the inside this and these are the gloves the, the, the uh, two pair of gloves are there that you have to use then uh, this is the cap that is to be wear by you now this is the gown this is the full gown uh, that uh, surgeon will wear now this can this gown can be wore over your regular gown or you can uh, wear it uh, simply also or so this is the gown that you have to wear while you are handling uh, or you are operating on the seropositive kit now this is uh, uh, glass or goggles that is uh, present in this kit this you have all uh, you, you you will have to wear if you are using your specs then okay it will give you some precaution or you can use this uh, go over your specs like this or if you are not using your specs say you not you can use it simply like this so you have to use the specs you have to uh, cap is there then mask is there then glove is there then shoe cover is there uh, i know you will be wearing your ot slippers or not or the ot shoes or it you have to wear uh, these uh, Mm, uh, shoe cover then this is again you have got uh, this is the drape sheet this drape sheet we don't use our normal drape sheet for the patient we use this particular drape sheet this is the full length uh, uh, drape sheet that is available this is to be used while we, we are after cleaning you are trying to, to drape the patient finally once you have used all these thing you have done your surgery this this thing has to be uh, kept in uh, this is waste bag is there the all this thing has to be kept in waste bag and this is to be properly disposed of so this is the um, uh, guys these are the universal precaution kit that is available and uh, you should uh, uh, wear the, this kit while you are uh, operating now once you have got a needle stick injury what you have to do first thing uh, go and wash that area at least for 15 minutes under tap running water do not apply any spray or betadine or nothing just you can use a soap and uh, try to wash the area uh, very clearly and uh, at least for 15 minutes you have to wa wash it after uh, that you have to report to your art center where uh, uh, what you, they will do what they will do they will uh, take sample from you and uh, they will send it for testing then uh, uh, post exposure prophylactic will be given to you that is called PEP drugs now the two drugs which are commonly given is uh, uh, zerovidin and lamovidin or the combination of two in the form of combivir is given to 
the patient and it is very important that these treatment should start within 72 hours because after that it does not have any effect so within 72 hours you will have to report your CART center and get your HIV status tested if the if the HIV status of patient is known then you are at more risk otherwise the, the sample will be taken from the source also uh, to get the HIV status of the patient so uh, this drugs has to be taken at least for 28 days regularly every day the doses scheduled are for zidovidin it is 600 mg every day for lemovidin it is 150 mg bd every day or the combi vir that has 300 mg of zidovidin and 150 mg of lemovidin this has to be taken twice a day then after 3 months your hiv testing will be done again to see whether you have got any risk of it or any um, ASV titer is uh, sorry uh, that uh, HIV uh, titer status will be checked if it is there if it is negative then no further treatment is required by you so by this such precaution you can take care then another thing if you have a splash of fluid in your eyes beside you are wearing the goggles and all what you have to do um, you have to just sit in the chair like this and ask somebody to pour normal saline like this in both the eyes so that in the running normal saline your eyes are washed and if you are wearing a contact lens don't try to uh, remove your contact lens because it will act as a barrier might be while displacing whatever fluid is collected over the contact lens it might get uh, dispersed here so uh, wearing the contact lens you have to wash your eyes so these are the few precautions that you can take while you are taking care of HIV patient in your ward so that uh, you can save yourself and which is very very important the healthcare workers should take this precaution while they are handling uh, seropositive patients um, I wish all of you very good luck and uh, I once again request all of you please do subscribe my channel and thanks for those who are watching and I welcome those who are watching my video for the first time thank you thank you very much